All right, everybody, we're just going to be doing a lesson live, and we're going to make sure if you have questions, we'll try to answer them, but basically this is just an opportunity for you to see what we do during our live lessons. So I hope you enjoy this and have a lot of fun, okay? All right, here we go. Okay. Posture. Make sure that ball's up. As soon as you go forward, you're taking away this range. Ball's up, go straight up. Now remember, when you call a rise, you're not going to go all the way down, yeah. right? You're here, you do a little just for rhythm, but you, want, you don't want to get, anytime this hand is underneath this elbow, that's when you're going to put yourself in the spot where you have to now click above that chain. So. Boom. And then that way too, you can attack right there, right? So I'm here, boom, go, boom, okay? And it's up. Then, yeah, see how, see how you have to kind of readjust? So you want to get to the point where you're here, boom, boom. Find that range where it does two things. One, I don't have to fight the elbow. Two, I don't let the glove get past my eyes. Gotcha. I go straight up. Okay? All right. So come right and drop it in. So you want to drop it, and you're just going to catch it. Just let it fall right there. Let this face the sky. So don't move it. I'm not going to throw it. So, feel how we were yep. aggressive? Yep. Uh, yep. Okay? Move left. Move left. This you're basically just let, let this almost feel like it's falling okay. into your hand. Okay. You know what I mean? Yep. We're working that pocket. Right? Okay. And if it's any higher, because remember that's where if this ball is here, yes. you come up with that pocket under. So let's do that one instead. Go ahead, put this on your left wrist, and then you can put your glove on too. Let's see if we got any questions going. So that first drill, we were just working on our pocket, kind of moving our hands around. Uh, second one that we're doing now is we're gonna use the J bands, okay? And we're gonna work on, when we're doing this, getting that kind of, feeling that shoulder, so that when we're, when we're presenting that pitch, we're getting through, okay? So that's what we're gonna do here, all right? Everything's backwards. Let me see here. Let's see if I can, yeah, here we go. All right, there we go. Now we're good. There we go. Oh, let me just make sure. Uh, yeah, comment. Anna on chair D1 U M B C. All right, so when we do this one, okay, go ahead, get in your stance. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna put a little bit of tension. Okay, okay. All right, so what 
So when we're doing this, we want to feel it right here. So when I go down, feel that? Yep. Okay. So make sure when you're doing this, posture's good. Good. Yep. Go right in there. Yep. This is where all the catching's done. This is where our movements happen. break our chain. A lot of catchers try to do everything from the front. This drill is helping you feel it from the back side so you get full range. Okay, now when we go this way, feel it. Yep. Again, in that shoulder. Yep. So remember, let your thumb go down and that 45. Don't go back this way, 45. Good. Workout today. Yeah. Go down. Feel that difference? Yep. There you go. There it is. Perfect. One more look. Good. All right. Now, when we go the other way, you can either switch feet or you can keep it on the same one. Okay. When we're going this way, you feel like you're on this side of the shoulder when I do that? Uh. And you still feel here. I'd say a little bit. A little more oh, on the yeah. outside. Don't switch feet. You go left knee down. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And now pull from this part. Go. Pull across. Good. And almost if you have to on this, just let your fingers go. Yeah. So you really feel it all in there. There you go. Perfect. There. Gotcha. Good. Bring the web to me. And then go. Good. Don't retreat your web. Beautiful. Good. Good. Three. Good. Two. Perfect. Good. Good, you can take that off now. Well, it's gonna work there. Yeah. All right. Okay. All right. So now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna do some light toss work where we're gonna work those paths again. And Anna's just gonna work on her pocket presence. And then we're gonna do some machine work for you guys. All right? Okay, we're gonna start right at you low. Elevator, spring it right above. Good, make sure it gets to you. Good. Good. Good, find that angle and go. Find that angle and go. Good. Good. Nice. Good. All right, now we're gonna go normal presentation, okay? Good. Feel how you're getting a little yeah. here? Boom, calm. Good. Give me that pre-pitch, go ahead, give me that target. Pre-pitch, beautiful. Pre-pitch, good. Good. Pre-pitch, yeah. That's the one too. You can get more shoulder, less elbow. Yep. Good. 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 Hold this one. Good. So notice how when this ball's on this side, she's doing everything in this pocket. 
okay? And what she's working on right now, and it has really long levers, so what she's working on is she gets away with a lot more just because she moves this. That's like me having to drive all the way across because I got short little alligator arms. But when she's catching, what she's working on in this drill is just feeling that little bit of movement. A lot of catchers don't get outside the ball enough. They get at the ball and they get stuck and then they have to bend to present or to move it back to the zone. So she's working on getting outside, utilizing that pocket, and then being able to use that shoulder coming across. All right, so that's one thing that we really work on behind the plate. Let's go like two more, okay? Okay. Yeah, good. That's one up? Yeah. Right? Yeah, around. Good. Nice. That was really good with the hands. Good. Okay. All right, so what we're going to work on now, we're going to work on the rise pitch. Okay? We're going to work on balls up. Okay? We're going to work on just attacking that ball different. Okay? Yeah. All right, so get set up. Target's there, okay? So on the rise pitch, we're attacking that ball, okay? We wanna go to the top of the zone. The whole point of the rise is to induce a swing or to pitch at the top of the zone so that hitter can't get to it. So when we're catching this, there's two types of rise. There's one that's out of the zone that we just catch, and the second one's that one that's right at the top where we wanna work again with our shoulder getting it there, okay? So we're gonna work on, we're gonna start a drill. We're gonna start at the top, I'm gonna flip it, and all Anna's gonna do is she's just gonna work on here and slamming it down. And it's gonna be a reverse elevator. So it's gonna be here, and we're gonna just break the chain straight down. She's gonna take the ball to the ground. That's gonna over exaggerate the movement. And then when she goes to catch normal, she can just move it one inch or she can just be on top of that ball. So just start at the top and come right down. Yeah. Yes. You can make sure that glove's out in front of your eyes so you can still see, yep. Good. Good. One more. Good, all right, now, okay, we're gonna be setting up at the top, and now we're just gonna go normal. So now instead of taking all the way to the ground, she's gonna take it down about two inches. Shoulder. Yeah. yeah. Good. Good. All right. Now we're going to go normal target, normal pre pitch movement, and now she's just going to work on presenting balls at the top of the zone. Not so low, Mara. On a rise ball, you're not. You're gonna go yeah. just a little yeah, bit on the pre pitch. Yeah. Okay. I got you. Make it easier on yourself, not harder. Good. Good. Okay. Yes. Very nice. Good. That's the one though, but no, that's that's the one we're talking about though. That's the one that's up here. That's just a catch, and the only way we get anything on that is if they swing. Yep. And that's that's really important, right, to understand the difference between those, right? If that and also if you feel the batter swing, you can just catch it normal either way. Yeah. Right? Like that's 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 where you start, yeah. Yeah. Exactly. All right, so now we're, all we're gonna do is we're gonna get the machine set up, okay? So basically we do, even with our, um, even with our high ND one softball catchers, we use the Jugs pitching machine, okay? It's just easy to get a ton of good work in, okay? It's pretty accurate machine, and it's very easy to set up. So that's what we're gonna work on 
with Anna today is we're gonna work on just some receiving, kind of get that pocket going, all right? So as the machine gets warmed up, I'll try to answer a couple of questions that you guys might have. Here we go. All right, let's see if we can, um, let's see if we can get a couple questions answered real quick. All right, we got any questions? How hard is it for a left-handed kid to catch? Just hop out real quick to make sure that I'm on I'm on target still. Okay. Uh, in in softball, it's a little more common just because the throws are so short that you have the ability to make a quick throw to the sides. Uh, obviously, throwing to second base is the same for a righty and a lefty. It's just uh, when someone tries to steal, it's a lot easier. Um, for a right-hander to throw to third, whereas no one's stealing first. So the back pick's the only pitch that you're gonna throw. So that's kind of why that one gets, uh, that's kind of why that one gets, the left-handed catcher gets a little more disrespect than the other ones, okay? All right. All right, here we go. Did catcher's camp, perfect, <laughs> nice. All right, next camp gonna be uh, next camp, uh, our next camp starts in November. All right. Well, here we go. We're going to go back to Anna getting some work in catching. Okay. All right. So biggest thing, make sure when you're watching uh, Anna catch, she just knows how the pocket's working. She's using that pocket and then she's getting to that clean presentation for our umpire. All right, so that's really, really important, all right? Now we're gonna move it up a little bit. We're gonna do some rise ball progression. That way she can work on getting top of balls too, all right? Perfect. First 
And then I started running. Now you just do the different types of balls. Good. Okay. All right, so now go ahead. Set. Now, what we're calling rise. Where are the complimentary pitches with your rise ball? With your pitchers? Like, oh, yeah, pitch? like low rise, you probably hit the top of the zone, and the high rise, hit the top of the zone, and you can fly out and go right. get, get the point. Okay, so, and your pitchers right now, how consistently, like, how much do they throw their rise versus their other pitchers? Uh, I'd say about half the time. Half half about, time yeah, right? we're okay. pretty happy with rise. Okay, before. so. When we know and the other team knows you're going to throw a rise, right? It's not a secret, right, yeah. that there's going to be a rise. So get set up. So our normal pitchers that are attacking the zone and attacking down, yeah. when we give our target, we're going to work to the bottom of the zone, right? But now with the rise ball, our bottom of our zone is technically here now. So we're going to give that target. We're not going to have to show up. But we're going to give that target. And now instead of having to go an extra foot to get up, we're going to get that target, and we're just going to go here, and just kind of go here. You can go old school quarter turn, okay, whatever you want to do, so that this path is early and easy. Because right now, what happens is if I'm going here, this ball's here, I'm under it, I'm going to push it up. If I'm here, and I, and I know it's going to be rise, I can now, again, slam with the shoulder. And remember, on the ball up, you're not going to be able to move it more than an inch or so without, because that's right at the umpire's face, so he's going to be able to see that. You just want to be boom. Again, using that shoulder to bring that ball down. Okay? So this time, give a little bit higher target okay. and just maybe an inch on the pre, and it's just it's yeah. like a little low. Gotcha. That's all it is. Yeah. Sunday fun day. Blackmore. Okay. All right. There we go. 
So yeah, so today, um, number one thing, okay, when you're working, uh, catching, don't try to do everything at once, all right? So today we were working on with Anna, who obviously is practicing all during the week, okay, with her, with her college team. We came in, we want to work on specific things, okay, uh, receiving, especially in season. When you get the out of season, you can start doing more where you can do your block and throwing and receiving all in one day. But really, just don't overcomplicate when you're doing your training. Um, you know, that's our biggest thing is when we are, when we're in here, we're working, okay? Anna's biggest thing today, she wanted to work on rise balls, being able to get on top, present that. So we kind of did a progression. We worked up to that, okay? And then we got through it. Uh, for people that are, need help with blocking and stuff, go back in some of our videos uh, and check those out. And um, if you, when you're checking out those videos, we do, we put all of our drills out there. We try to do as much as we can. If you need specific, hit us up on Instagram, hit us up uh, via email, or even on our website, catchesyou.com. We have a chat. Uh, go ahead, get on there, and we'll do everything we can to get, kind of get you going right on that. All right? So me and Anna are going to head out. Uh, it's NFL Sunday, so she's got to get back. And obviously, i got to go watch the Packers win. So uh, we're both going to say see ya. Bye. All right. See you guys later. All right. Thanks for joining in, and uh, we'll see you guys soon.